Good morning, Holy Spirit. For once again, reminding us of the love that the Lord Jesus Christ loved us unto death. Oh, compassionate God, our Heavenly Father, thy kingdom come on this earth as it is in heaven. Friends, in one of the most dramatic cause corrections found in Jesus' teaching, and perhaps the most shocking correction, Jesus set forth, pertained to the treatment of one enemies, or those with whom they had long standing disagreements. And this was easy to verify since one's treatment of enemies will be easily observed by others. Yes, the Jewish leaders lived under the heel of the Roman occupiers, people they found it all too easy to hate. What had been the standing tradition regarding enemies? That it was okay, in fact, commanded to hate one's enemies. But Jesus corrected the uh, misleading of the Old Testament and explained why they should love even their enemies in Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 to 48 Jesus began by saying you have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy Jesus began by reminding them beloved whoever they had heard that from was misquoting Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 you shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the children of your people but you shall love your neighbor as thyself I am the Lord. Moses most certainly wrote that the Jews should love their neighbor. He wrote nothing about hating one's enemies. This second directive had been conveniently added on by someone who wanted to justify his hatred for an enemy. Jesus says, no way. You are to love your enemies as well as your neighbors. Why do we need this correction today? Because there are always going to be people with whom we disagree. And if we are going to manifest the love of Christ, in a increasingly divided end time world, we have to be prepared to love everyone, neighbors and enemies, lovely and unlovely alike. So what did Jesus say? Why do we love? And sure, the reason Jesus gives for loving our enemies is because we are to be like God who loves all. Here's how Jesus put it. Love your enemies that you may be sons of your fathers in heaven. Matthew 5, 45. That is so we will be living and loving the way God loves. 
Jesus then uses the sun and the rain as examples. In the 45th verse of Matthew chapter 5, by declaring that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Beloved, every time the sun shines and the rain falls, they shine and fall on the righteous and the unrighteous at the same time. The sun and rain cause the crops of the wicked to grow right along with the crops of the righteous. The livestock of the wicked and the righteous grow fat at the same time. The families of the wicked and the righteous prosper together. In other words, God doesn't just bless the righteous with sun and rain and the other blessings of life. He blesses all by means of what Bible teachers will say, common grace. The goodness of God extended to all his creation. If you look at Jesus saying, we should be kind to our enemies because God is a kind, is kind to the unthankful and evil. Luke 6 35. And Paul, when speaking to Gentile crowd in Lystra, reminded them of God's goodness this way. Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witness, in that he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. As chapter 14, verse 17. In other words, God gives testimony to his goodness and greatness by showering humanity with abundant gifts and blessings. Even those who don't think and those even who don't thank him. And so, brothers and sisters, with such testimony, we are reminded of God's, Jesus' words to his own disciples by this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. John 13, 35. Love is the greatest testimony of all. Remember you and I were enemies of God spiritually before he reconciled us to himself by love through the death of his son, Jesus Christ. As Romans chapter 5, verse 10 reminds us. We love God. We love our neighbors and our enemies because He first loves us. First John 4, 19. Thanks for listening and may God richly bless you.